What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Boozer here. Thanks for stopping by. We got a heck of a video here for you guys today. So get ready, strap yourselves in and it's going to be a long one. I'm going to be pulling for, I think over 20 accounts. Uh, a lot of people from my community and from my clan cluster, uh, we'll be pulling ancient shards. We got the two X ancient event going on right now for the Fey hammer Titan event. Uh, and for the hammer points, of course, a little bit of a rough surprise. Uh, we do see a little bit of a heavier um, point uh, distribution here. Uh, we see 250 hammer points with the big uh, point uh, bundle really, really high up here, 5,500 points. Yes, it is a 2x ancient, so it makes it easier to get points. Uh, keep in mind, each ancient on average will get you about 53 points. So if you're looking to max out these hammer points, you're probably going to spend 100 ancients on average roughly uh, so keep that in mind uh, and your expectations in line uh, with that being said like I said this video is going to have a lot of ancient shards getting pulled so buckle up we'll start right away let's jump right into it all right guys so first off I want to say a big big thank you to all the participants in the video here today so obviously you know you guys reached out and then dropped off your accounts for me to pull for you guys so I want to say big thank you to everybody I want to say good luck to everybody as well so let's jump right into it. our first account here. We got Climate uh, Guzzi here. We're going to be pulling 65 Ancient Shards to go. 2x chance, 1% chance at a Legendary, 16% chance at an Epic. Let's get it. If you hit a Legendary, it means you got lucky, but it also means you can keep pulling for that 1% chance at Legendary. It doesn't stop on your first Legendary, not like the extra Legendary events that we just uh, had recently for Sacred Shards. So Ancient Shards, this is probably one of the most, um, you know, fun involved events just because uh, Ancient Shards are the most accessible shard or one of the most accessible shards that you can get legendaries from, of course. So you see all sorts of people, they have lots of Ancient Shards. This is one of the best events for newer accounts as well because you get 16% chance at Epics as well. So very, very nice uh, event for everybody. Um, and of course, you know, you pick up some legendaries along the way. It's also paired with the champion chase which makes the chase much more accessible you did see some pretty nice rewards there we got two legendary books we got the big rock at 10k 10k is going to take you about 200 ancient shards but you know what some people might have 200 ancient shards laying around and they're ready to go we also have that odin uh grand prize for the winner there um you know obviously that's going to be like a pipe dream for a lot of people you got to be really careful in your bracket because uh, people will be waiting until the last moment to take down Odin if they can. So let's go with the 10 pulls here for Guzzi. Let's see what we can get. We got Epics, 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 Epics. Nice. Wow. Five Epics in a row for 1,300 points. Geomancer here. Massive win. Guzzi is a pretty late game account, so he's not going to care about these Epics at all. Maybe for Empowerment he might care. But we're looking for Legos only. Legos only. Oh, man. And then you get the Sea of Blues. It all balances out, right, for the RNG. Um, but yeah, only Legos for Guzzi here. Let's see what we can hit for him. Um, and yeah, points are great. Epics are uh, definitely welcome. A bit of a lull in the last 20 pulls there. So it makes up for the five Epics in a row in the first 10 pull. Um, but yeah, on average, you're looking for about roughly about one Epic for every eight shards, I think, uh, on average. Maybe seven shards, somewhere around there. So we're definitely, I think we're still doing pretty good in terms of average points, but definitely looking for some gold here for Guzzi. Yeah, we got some good and some bad 10 pulls. Nothing really crazy right now. We did pull a Geomancer, but like I said, Guzzi's a pretty late game account, so he's not going to care too much about, you know, his fourth or fifth Geomancer or whatever. All right, that's going to be it. That was 65 shards for Guzzi. I'm pretty sure he hit about 3,000 points there. That's pretty, pretty good. He's about halfway to the points. So let's jump into our next account. Thanks, Guzzi. All right, we got our next account here, Render Ender, level 77. So still slugging through the game, progressing. We got 75 Ancient Shards here. Let's rip them all, he says. Best of luck, buddy. Hopefully we can pull a game changer for you. We'll start with the five single pulls, and then we'll do the seven ten pops. Hopefully you guys are having some pretty good luck with the Ancient Shards. Like I said, it's a really, really fun event because the Shards are more accessible than the other Shards. And of course, it gives you guys uh, more opportunities to get lucky, of course. Also, these shard pool sessions are pretty long considering how many uh, ancient shards some people potentially could have. So let's get right into this. So we got render here. 
level 77 you gotta love these like smaller progression accounts uh looking for that big pull big impactful pull even some epics will help these guys out so somebody like a geomancer is a pretty massive epic for a lot of these progress progression accounts so let's see what we can do here for render come on let's get there get that gold first gold of the video who got it who got the first gold of the video let's go sea of blues so far annabelle that's huge huge for bommel if you have struggles there she can solo bommel up to 90 need some decent gear but actually she's one of the easiest to gear to solo bommel 90 so that's your answer right there i think that's pretty huge i was looking for answers to bommel for so long sea of blue here not what you want to see Hopefully we get some Legos. There we go. Our first gold of the session. Oh my God. We hit the faction unity champion. That's so awesome. I mean, Gregor is really insane. Like he's one of the, um, you know, mob champions in the um, Odin dungeon. And you know, he's a big pain when you pair him up with a bunch of other barbarians. Obviously his unity stuff is very, very strong. Um, we don't see him too much in like things like PvP or anything like that. But obviously he's going to improve like power up your barbarian faction wars team if you have that but also his exclusivity right he's going to be very exclusive you don't have a chance at him all the time so congratulations for dune lord gregor nice first gold for this video very very nice to see that blood flock very good he's an extender as well a lot of people don't really talk about him but he does have the extension ability on uh, on buffs makes building teams for clan boss much much easier but so far, not too bad. Picks up the legendary faction unity champion here. And I think that's going to be it for render. Yep, down to zero. Not too bad. We did hit the gold and it's going to be a very exclusive one. So congratulations. On to the next account. All right, on to our next account here. We got level 80 Matador here. He is looking for about 4,000 points remaining to hit all the hammer points for him. So I'm going to be pulling 4,000 points. Let's keep track together, guys. Let's go. Best of luck to you, Matador. Thanks for letting me pull in your account. We're looking for 4,000 points roughly from these ancient shards here. We're going to pull until we get it. We got 5,800 right here. We got Old Hermit. Very good for faction wars. If you're still looking to get through orcs or ogrins. I think he's orcs. I forget sometimes. All right. Let's keep going. Oh, a sea of blue. Not really wanting to see that. We're at 6,800. Target goal is to reach 4,000. Let's see how many ancients it takes us to get there. It's 6,800. We're just about 1,000. Not so great luck so far in terms of the points. Let's see if we can catch up here on our next 10 pop here. 3,000 points remaining. About 1,500 there. Definitely not super, super strong in terms of points so far. Let's see some gold here. Let's get some luck. Just under 2,000 points. Gotta keep going. He's set on 84 Ancients to start. So far, nothing too insane. Let's see here. Ultimate Gale. There's our gold. And, oh, Samar Gem Curse. 1,000 points. That's going to shoot us up to about 3,000 points here. Samar Gem Curse. I mean, you know, he was a, one of the OG Bommel solo champions. But so far, um, he's been kind of replaced by some epics. Giri with Wukong and like obviously Annabelle, very good. Samara by himself, I believe, does require quite a bit of uh, gear just to handle the Bommel encounter. So I think he's probably not going to be too, too much used in that encounter anymore. Uh, but we are sitting on 3,000 points. We're looking for about 1,000 more points here. Let's see if we can get it here. Nope. I think this is our last 10 pop and we should be good for 4,000 points for matador here so did pick up samar he is a gold hopefully he's new and i think that's going to be enough he's out of shards as well not the best in terms of overall luck but i think he's at least going to be able to get all the hammer points or at least be close to it yep 200 points away so i'm gonna let you finish that off there matador thanks a lot for letting me pull your account and go in uh in enjoy your uh some are gem cursed all right guys here's our next account dark lord slayer level 78 so again still mid game progressing through the 
game and we got 150 shards here he wants them all gone let's see what we can do for him for this boost best of luck to you man let's do it 150 ancient shards big hopes and dreams on these shards here let's see what we can get for him maybe we can get the big rock 10,000 points or we can get 10 blues feels bad man but that is the cost of doing business with Clarium, they're going to tax you first and I'll, hopefully they'll pay you back here. Oh my lord, they give you one epic for the first 20 pulls. Hopefully they will pay you back here tenfold. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Come on. Don't do this to Slayer here. He's been a faithful player of 78 levels. Let's give him something for his 150 ancient shards. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see some gold here quality gold quality gold here no no razins <laughs> no drexars no no freebies let's see some quality here batman could be good um if you don't have fatman very good epic there we go we got gold for slayer and it's going to be stratagos islin islin's actually a really good champion he was an old fusion he brings a very um tanky kit very good kit here keeps your team alive ally protection increased defense AoE decrease speed and A1 provoke. So he's actually really good for Hydra, especially starting out. And he's actually just good in general for most dungeon content. Um, so good pull here. Hopefully it helps you out there, but let's keep going. We got more shards to pull. Actually, Allure snuck in here on the last pull. He's actually very good if you don't have Allure, especially when you're progressing through the game. One of the best epics in the game for that, uh, just progressing through the game. So congratulations on Allure. Let's see what else we can get here. Come on. 150 shards here for Slayer. Let's make it worth his while. Stratagos is good, but definitely looking for maybe better. Is it possible? Tyrell, my old OG. Gotta give him a shout out there. One of my most impactful champions. If I never pulled him, I probably would have quit playing Raid long ago. <laughs> Steel Skull, great for the faction wars. Deals the poison, a bit of healing as well. Helps get through the boss. Let's see what else we can get here. Come on. There we go. Second gold for him. Ghostborn. Very nice. Ghostborn. I actually use my Ghostborn quite a bit. He's probably like my top 10 used um, champion on my account because I basically use him in all my seer teams. He brings the A decreased defense AOE and it can't, um, it can't be resisted. So it's actually really, really good. That means he doesn't need accuracy to land it. He also brings increased... Um, he also brings the increased attack on the same ability. It is on a four-turn cooldown, but if you use him in Seer teams, he only uses it once before the reset. And having it being irresistible means you have the consistency of you know runs that don't fail, which is great. Increased attack also gives your team an extra buff for powering up your Seer. So very, very good champion. I like him, and I use him a lot. So Sea of Blues here. We did pick up two Legendaries already, so he is batting above average for the amount of shards he has, I think. So far, pulled third legendary. Here we go. Here we go. It's starting to rain now for Slayer. Countess Lix. Countess Lix, actually a really impressive champion. She brings the AoE decrease speed as well as a uh, team-wide reset. The cooldowns are quite high on the reset, but you know what? It's a reset ability. He's always going to be relevant and very strong. AoE decrease speed as well. Very good against uh, Hydra, for example, but on a four-turn cooldown, so not the best. Uh, otherwise, very good for her uh, Faction Wars, Demon Spawn, and all that. Great champion overall. I really like her. I use her uh, myself on uh, one of my Hydra teams, actually. So congratulations on Countess Lix. Let's see what else we got. That's three gold already for Slayer. Looking good. Looking good so far. But can we be greedy and ask for more? Let's see what we can get here. Any more? And getting taxed here heavily. Moonbeam? I think Moonbeam may be a piece for Makage. Maybe a piece for Makage if you need him. So that's a definitely a good pull. Second Allure, also very welcome to see against some bosses, namely Dark Fae. So if you have two Allures, it's going to make um, make Dark Fae a lot more manageable. Let's see what else you got here. Husk, very good. Epic as well, especially starting out for Hydra, for example. Great champion. A1 Provoke and then AoE Slam. Let's see what else we got. Come on. Epics are great for points. Another gold. Let's go. Deliana. Okay, like Deliana is not going to be, you know, like making people 
super excited or anything, but she does bring the AoE uh, block buffs, which is pretty good. It is on a three turn cooldown, so uh, sorry, actually this one block, sorry, four turn cooldown AoE block buff. So that's a little bit of a drawback here. Four turns not fast enough against Hydra, but she does bring the block buffs uh, for the AoE if you need her in a pinch. She was a free champion way back in the day. She looks pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it is what it is. Good. Four legendaries for Slayer here. Hopefully you're happy with those. Thanks a lot for letting me pull in your account. We'll be back on our next account, guys. All right, onto our next account here. Level 60, Naga Papa. Love to see it. Level 60, man. Grinding at hard for 61 Ancient Shards. He's pulling them all here today. Let's get it. Hopefully we get him something nice. Make his journey through raid nice and smooth. Let's go. 60 pulls. Let's get it. Best of luck to you, Papa. Let's go. We just pulled four legendaries for Slayer over 150 shards. That's a good turnout. Even though the quality of the, the champions are okay. Nothing too insane, but getting gold, especially early on. Most gold is going to be very, very impactful for you. The big problem here, of course, is getting books. So spending books on like subpar champions, especially early on, it's kind of one of those pitfalls that you don't really want to fall into. So you do re have to reassess your, champ uh, your roster properly, even after pulling a bunch of gold. So... Not so lucky here for Papa. Couple 10 pull taxes here. Hopefully it pays off. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Hit him. At least hit him with some epics. There we go. We got four epics here. Lockwin, another piece for Makage if needed. I think maybe even Visionary might be a piece for Makage. Might be. Not too sure. Forgot. Let's see. Let's see. Come on. Let's go. We paid the taxes in the beginning. Can we pull gold here for Papa? Oh, I think we're down to our last 10 pop here. Let's make it impactful. How about somebody like Geomancer or something? Let's go. Come on. Come on. Don't end it with blues. Lady Quillen? I think Lady Quillen is also part of the Makage Fusion, actually. Let's have a quick look. Yes, yes. We did pull quite a bit, quite a bunch of pieces, I think. Let's see here. We pulled Quillen. Who else did we pull here for him? That's it? Just Quillen. Ah. Unfortunate. Oh, wait. No, we pulled this guy. Oh, he had a copy already. Ah, I see. All right. At least we pulled Quillen for Makage. No luck here for Papa. On to our next account. Thanks a lot for letting me pull here. All right. On to our next account here. We got Holy Drac, level 70. He has 81 Ancient Shards. He's hoping to get the 5,500 uh, Hammer Points um, Threshold with these amount of shards it's going to be a little bit hard because the 5500 on average will take you at least 100 of these ancient shards but we'll try to do our best with these 80 here so best of luck to you holy drac still progressing through the game so lots of champions going to help you out here you're probably going to throw all these ancients into this event anyways so hopefully you can get something good here to help your account along let's go and hopefully we get those hammer points of course right here we go. Three epics to start. Good amount of points. None of those epics are really worth talking about, even for a mid-game progression account, really. Let's go. Let's see if we can get something cool here. Epics, again, will be helpful. Fun fact, Hellgazer was one. It was my first epic ever. <laughs> Fun fact here. Hellgazer. How I remember asking whether you were good or not. All right, let's see what else we can get here. So far, so good in terms of the point spread. At least it's above average, but like I said, guys, 81 Ancients, most likely not going to reach 5,500 points, but I will check up on it in a second here. 10 tax here as well. Oh, not looking good here for Drac. Come on. Come on, player. Don't do Drac here so dirty. Let's give him something to walk away with. Lich. Let's go. Come on. Oh, that last 20 pop was really ugly. One epic only. Not feeling it here. Let's see if we can pick up the energy. Husk, very good. Let's go. Epics pouring in. Four, five. Here we go. Look at those oath bounds. 1,300 points here. Kind of makes up for the last 20 pop. That was not that great. But 1,300 there. Let's check the chase for him after these 10 pull. Let's go. I don't think he's batting too high average here. Let's see. 34. Okay, I think is that might be it. Actually, no, we're 70 shards in. Let's see how close we are for the points. Not that close. Like I said, guys, the expectation for 5,500 is at least 100 ancient shards on average. 
We got 3,800 here. I'm going to pop the last 10 here for Drac. Hopefully we get something huge. And we're out of space. And we'll finish it up here for Drac. Come on, let's go. Let him walk away with some gold here. One gold? No, come on. Oh, so much pain. This one's the most painful one. Uh, sorry about that, Drac. Hopefully you get enough for those Titan points at the end there. Thanks for letting me pull your account. We'll be back on our next account. All right, guys, back on our next account here, level 65, Heavy Bieber. He's going all in for the Ancient Shards. Like I said, guys, this is a great event, especially for early or mid-game players just trying to progress through the account. 16% at Epics, 1% chance at the Legendary with the Champion Chase active, so you're going to get some goodies along the way. So definitely a good time to pull your Ancient Shards, unless you're planning to you know, think a little bit longer term and maybe save for the next Fusion. Although the next fusion is probably a couple of weeks away, so you still probably have some time to make up for that. So, but in any case, best of luck to you here, uh, Bieber. Let's try to get you something that will help your account along. Let's go level 65. Some some epics will definitely be useful. Let's go with the 10 pops here. Come on, always good to pick up uh, something good for these early game accounts. All right, let's see. Fear mass fear monger is probably not gonna be it. So definitely uh, stay away from that guy. He's got a bit of a meme, right? He's a Friday the 13th guy. Viren Geary is going to be good against uh, Bommel. So helpful there. Gives you an option against Bommel. Caden was actually one of the epics that helped me along when I first started. He's one of my first handful of epics that uh, carried me a bit. He has a revive on his, uh, on his kit and an AoE decrease attack, which is very good. Uh, let's see what else we got. Hey, we got a piece for Makage. Wow, you got a lot here. Lots to go through here. Wold painted pretty good for um, healing. Dilicia has the one of the few AoE decrease uh, defenses without requiring any books to make it happen. So she actually has this ability without any books to increase her chance of it. So very, very solid champion, especially for faction wars and stuff. It's just good. We're missing a couple spots here, so be right back. Finishing this up here. So let's see if we can get something nice for his last 10 shards. Let's go. Oh, pain again. Oh my goodness. Anyways, we did pick up quite a bit of epics there. So hopefully some of those will help you along. Thanks a lot, Bieber, for letting me pull back on our next account. All right, guys, back with our next account here, level 99, Jimitsu. Let's get it. He says, pull it all. 110 shards to go. Let's do this. Best of luck to you, Mitsu. Let's see what we can get for you. Come on. 110. So we're probably going to be landing somewhere around the uh, 5,500 mark, hopefully, for the Titan points. Um, yeah, 5,500. Pretty expensive, but 250 Titan points up for grabs. There it is. We got gold here, and it's Versov the Grim. Versov actually is a very decent champion. He's increased defense, ally protection on a three turn, and then he brings... A double hit here potentially that hits pretty decent and he has an a1 provoke it's actually good in a lot of areas just not like a super sexy kid or anything um yeah he's kind of blah but his increased defense ally protection is very very solid he's not particularly good in faction wars i think just because his a1 does provide a shield and this shield against the final boss um level where the Valkyries are on stage two, uh, pose a little bit of a problem. And he's negative affinity against those Valkyries too. So not the best in Faction Wars, but he'll get you to level 21. For me, I had to use him in level 21 anyways. Um, I put him in a destroy set, and that's how I beat the boss in the end. But cool champ if you need him for like clan boss or something. Let's keep going here. At least we got the gold right away, 500 points. Always good to see. Get those chase points. See what else we got going on here. Come on. Come on, let's get Mitsu a little bit a little bit more for the video. A little bit more quality for the video. Level 99, so maybe some epics might not be too helpful for him. Ew. 10 tax, 10 blues there. Not feeling that. Not feeling that quickly. Get through that. Here we go. Let's go. Purple. A hey, gold. Done egg. Dunegg Skull Reap. Oh, man. Again, the quality of these pulls have not been great, but the pool is so large. There's so many negative champions going on. He does bring a little bit of CC, so um, he brings the fear here, I guess. I mean, he brings a little bit of CC. 
I did have to level them up for like a Centrano's uh, level. Um, just so you can help out there. But honestly, not going to be a champion you want to focus on until you have a very specific use for him. Um, so let's keep going. I mean, it's still 500 points. So that's going to be a good thing here. Let's see if we can get a little bit more for his 110 shards. But two Legos for 110 is not too bad, even if it ended right there. But let's keep going here. See if we can get a little bit more. Or even pieces, you know, Makage pieces are always welcome, right? Like, oh, Ulfreg. Ulfreg is a piece for Makage. Hopefully that's helpful for you. Also, this event is probably pretty good just to pull epics if you guys are interested and in needing those. Is Lockwain part of it? Ah, I don't I don't remember. I think he is. Or is it the Moonbeam guy? Maybe it's the Moonbeam guy. They both look the same. They have the same helmet. Anyways, let's keep going here. Come on. Anything else? Nope. Pretty weak. 10 pull here. Missionary. Not really somebody you want to see. Alright. Bovo's Sharp Horn. Two epics here. And I think that's going to be it for him. Yep. Two epics. So we got 110 shards. We got two Legos for it. I think that's pretty decent. Um, you can definitely go 110 without any Legos. But getting two there, I think he's actually not too bad there. So thanks a lot for letting me pull in your account, Mitsu. Best of luck. All right, up next, guys, we got Mike here, level 100. He's pulling them all, and we got 122. Let's do this. Best of luck to you, Mike. Thanks a lot for popping in and letting me pull on your account. Let's get something nice. Let's get something nice. Like I said, guys, the non-void pool is so big now. Getting something like good from this is actually pretty difficult. Um, but, you know, since we get so many opportunities at this pool, maybe we do come out ahead in the end. They can't really jam this pool full of good stuff, but I don't know. It's just so much stuff in here. We have no idea what to get. Um, Isabel here, Insenia, both for Makage if you still needed her. Uh, so really, really good. Like, I think I was going through the pool and I was probably looking at maybe like 5% of legendaries that I would be interested in or get kind of excited about. It's very, very low. So far, pretty good in terms of overall chase points. So pulling pretty good here. For Mike, but looking for gold for him, right? Level 100. Ugh, 10 tax. Getting taxed here. Hopefully it pays off. Let's go. Um, But yeah. Still focusing on those chase points. 5,500. Pretty expensive. But he's got 120. He should clear 5,500 with some extra on the side here. Cornelia. As the sleep can work for Sand Devil. Also can solo Bommel in some builds. Let's see what else we got. Slowing down a little bit in terms of the points. There we go. We got gold here for Mike. And it's going to be Ultimate Death Knight. You know, Ultimate Death Knight, I don't know. As a dupe, is probably not too bad. Since it's pretty good faction, right? Undead is very, very strong faction. And I don't know if it's going to be your first one. But Ultimate Death Knight is a game changer if it's your first one. Um, but yeah, he's not too bad as a dupe since he does feel the undead faction. And, you know, even for empowerment, not going to be that bad if you play some PvP, uh, down the line, right? So not too bad. Definitely a higher quality champion. Unfortunate that he was free. Of course, Venom Mage, excellent epic there. Very good. Critical for Amius, uh, if you guys are still working through that. Uh, let's see. Mausoleum Mage, one of the OG, uh, Team cleansers. Let's see what else? I'm seeing this shard kind of blink purple here for a second. I don't know. It seems kind of weird. The blue shard blinks purple as it shakes. And getting taxed again here. Getting taxed heavily. Let's see what else is happening. You know, this event is so, you know, kind of juicy and kind of expected that everyone kind of unloads their ancient shards here. That it makes me feel that player may be doing and guaranteed ancients soon maybe i don't know next week oh we got gold again for mike and his armands we picked up another duke again very very good quality uh dupe uh whether you want to empower or buff the faction guardians or just build a second one he's actually very very good i mean we don't need any introduction about how insane armands is in all areas of the game other than like clan boss um but yeah just or hydra i guess but like just an insane insane champion he does the sheep, he does the strip and stun. 
dude, this move is so ridiculous. Strip and stun and turn meter steal. Like, is it really necessary for him to steal your turn meter as well? Why can't it just, you know, steal a smaller percentage or, you know, give him a maximum percentage stolen or maybe drop your turn meter a little bit? <laughs> Not Why steal the whole thing? It doesn't make any sense. But anyways, we got two legendaries here for Mike from 120 Ancient Shard. Not too bad. Obviously, expecting, uh, hoping for a little bit more, but... Thanks a lot for letting me pull in your account, Mike. We'll be back on our next account, guys. All right, guys. On to our next account here. We got Air Foldy, level 48. Oh, my God. I want to impact your account massively today. 100 Ancient Shards. Let's do this. Best of luck, man. Let's go. I want to smash, smash your account progression with these pulls. Let's go. Epics, Legos. Level 48, guys. Holy cow. Do you guys even remember when you guys were level 48? Still slogging through what? Probably finished Brutal Campaign, right? Gotta be. But still slogging through all those dungeons. Gotta give him some help here. 100 Ancient Shards. Does he have it? Does he have the luck? Let's give him the luck. Alright, come on. Let's go. So far, nothing too insane. Even for a level 48. Got a bunch of epics here. Jizzo. These three, like, kind of don't really want to see them. Uh, but decent points there in that 10 pull. There is a couple legendary books here in this champion chase, which will help out a lot of players. Tarshan's not bad. Rockbreaker's not bad as well for um, Faction Wars. It's getting you through it. Uh, let's go. Come on. Let's give him some impact here. Let's impact his account. Vergus, very, very solid. Actually, very solid in many areas, actually. Great for um, Scarab King, so you always have an option against Scarab King in the future once you start doing Doom Tower and all that stuff. All that stuff. Uh, the Hunger, actually very good for Faction Wars as well. He brings a Revive, which is definitely, definitely, uh, you know, not a necessity, but definitely a benefit and a bonus. Hexia, not great. Come on. Come on. Don't let him down here. Don't let him down. Don't let Foldy down here. We got level 48. Three epics here. Again, none of these three are actually worth too much here. Don't think I would invest in those. Even as a level 48. Barrick in the fat. There we go. And we can pick up a gold here. Manaya. Okay. Manaya will actually be useful. Um, definitely. For, so first we got Farrakhan the fat here. He brings the ally attack. He's going to be good in like Fire Knight. He's going to be getting clan boss. Uh, he brings poisons, HP burns, ally attack, and an A1 A uh, decreased defense. So very good for clan boss. Uh, he's good for Fire Knight, Fire Knight Hard, for example. He's good against Dark Fae. And then we have Manai here. Actually not a bad legendary, especially when you're first starting out in the game. A1 continuous heal. He does bring um, a bit of a leech here. Does bring a heal for all allies. And then the block debuffs. Very, very decent. Actually, support champion. I don't know if I would invest the books in here. How many does she have? Eight. Oh, too much here. It's too much here. 12. What is that? Three, six, six, 10, 14, 14, 16 books. Yeah. I think it's going to be too killer to use her for 16 books. Um, yeah, too killer for 16 books. I think she's still usable, especially with the speed war here and the four turn here. But yeah, it's 16 books, too bad. She actually, her kit's not too bad here to support like an early game account. But yeah, 16 books, definitely not worth it. But I, you know, she's usable, definitely usable. Um, but let's see if we can get something a little bit higher quality here. Oh, another gold, nice. Elder Scarg, okay. Elder Scarg is one of my first legendaries on my first account. I shelled him for a long time, but actually he's very, very useful. He brings the HP burn here without any books. Three turn HP burn without any books, without, you know, you don't need the debuff percentage or anything like that. So you can definitely use him for that role, HP burn. Um, and for me, I think for the early game, that's about it. Uh, later on, he does actually do like, some decent damage. He has a pretty cool kit. Um, but yeah, in the beginning, maybe look, give him a look if you need the HP burn. Probably for Spider as you're progressing. That's where I used him. Um, so not too bad. At least you got some options there. You don't need any books, which is great. You don't even need them at 60 to be honest, but we got two legendaries for 100. I think that's pretty good. Not the best quality, but at least it's something for you to work off of. So thanks for letting me pull in your account, man. Best of luck in the game. All right, guys, another very new account here. We got Boyd here, level 42. He's scrounged up 39 ancient shards. Let's get him something nice to push his account through. Best of luck to you, Boyd. 
Let's go. Epic right away. That's pretty good. Oh, Tarage the Fog. He's very, very solid, actually. He got the shield, ally protection, A1, decreased attack, and then, of course, poisons on his passive. Very good champion for clan boss if you need him. Unfortunately, he is a bit like he is a free champion, so some people do have him very early, um, which is great, but it kind of makes people like you know look look on him like oh he's not that great, but he's actually a really good champion, especially for clan boss. So probably a massive upgrade for you there. He can handle your decreased attack, your poisons. He gives you ally protection, shield, massive champion. So especially starting out. So congratulations there. I'm sure that's gonna be helpful for you. So happy to pull that for you, bud. Let's keep going here. 30 shards. I know I know the feeling, guy. My first 2x ancients, I pulled 40 ancients. And I was praying to God that I was going to get something. I remember I told this story in a recent video that my last pull was Tyrell. And Tyrell was the only impactful champion I pulled. And, you know, he carried my account. So hopefully we can get you something here. I think Taragi might be that champion. Oh, Anchorite's really good too. Anchorite's really good too. He brings the buff duration, which is really good for clan boss. And he also brings some relevant buffs uh, as well. So not too bad here. Anchorite, not too bad. Let's keep going. We're going to pull the three tens here. Best of luck, man. You don't really necessarily want to see gold. You want to see some good epics that you can book out and use right away. Um, of course, gold is going to be welcome. Uh, Teshida has a pretty cool single target revive. Could help you through um, faction wars and all that for a barb faction, especially early on. Oh, epics. Second Teshida, I guess. Faction Guardians. <laughs> Alika she slams. She slams now after the uh, empowerments. We got 10 more. We need to make some space. All right, let's finish up Boyd here. We got 10 more shards. Let's impact his account. Boom. Roll guard. Boom. That's impact right there. He's got the big max HP slam, good damage, good dungeon, dungeon crawler, of course, AoE, um, AoE slam here for max damage, decreased speed on the multi-hit, A1 decreased defense. Going to be great for, you know, early dragon, early fire knight, early spider, great champion, massive. Actually, this is a massive champion for early game, cha uh, early game accounts, so very happy to see that for you, man. Thanks for letting me pull, man. Uh, best of luck on your account. All right, guys, on to our next account here. We have Roj II, level 61, 74 Ancients. All of it's going in. Let's get it and see what we can get for him. Roj II. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 74 Ancient Shards. Hopefully we can get something of use for here. I think we have okay chance, I guess. 74. He's not going to hit the 5,500 unless he gets super, super lucky for those hammer points. But hopefully we can pull some... Good epics here for level 61. All right, we got the singles out of the way. Let's go with the 710 pops. Best of luck. I think we have some decent luck here in this video. We did pull multiple legendary for some members. Starting off with the 10 tax here. Hopefully it pays off. Let's go. Come on. The legendary quality hasn't been that good, though. The gold has been popping up, but not great quality. Wow, we're starting off with 20 blues. Feeling bad. Feeling bad here. There we go. We paid off with the gold, and it's going to be fully showing up here. Fully is actually very solid. Durr is very good, too, for Faction Wars. Grizzled Jar actually brings an option here for, um, for Clan Boss as well with a three-turn block buffs. Actually, uh, block debuffs, sorry. Uh, an option there for Clan Boss as well. Hunger brings the revive, which is very good for demon spawn. And then we have Foley here with blocked revive AoE. And then the cool passive that keeps him, gives him turn meter when you try to CC him. It's actually very good. I still use Foley here um, for my arena team just for fun against like Wukongs and stuff like that. So very decent uh, damage dealer. His base stats aren't incredibly high, so he doesn't scale up very high, of course. And doesn't have any ignore defense, but for fun and for killing Wukongs, he's very, very solid. Let's see what else we can do here. Rector Draft, very good. Again, Reviver for um, Knight Revenant, very, very solid. Nice points there for for uh, for a 10 pop, very good. Makes up for the first 20 pulls, which were all blues. Here comes the Epics to make up for it. Did pick up a Foley there, so not too bad. Let's see what else we can get here. For Joe's, Miscreate Monster is going to be a big carry for Spider, especially if you're still progressing through. All right, do we run out of space? We got 10 more, we ran out of space, be right back. 
All right, finishing up Joe's here. Let's go. Last 10 pop here. Anything else left in the tank for Joe's? 74 Ancients picking up Foley. Bunch of epics. I'm going to call it a day there. Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Thanks for letting me pull. Be back on our next account. All right, guys, back on our next account here. We got Lumpy, level 75, 107 ancient shards to go. He says, rip them all. Let's do it. Best of luck to you, man. Let's get let's get some impact for your account. Let's go level 75. All right, still progressing through the game. Definitely going to benefit from a lot of um, epics. So hopefully we can pull something of use for you. Probably still working on Makage. So we can get some of those epics as well see what we can do here pulling the singles first and then we'll do the 10 pops right afterwards let's go let's get it go two singles left lumpy level 75 we got to pick up our first epic here dithy very good very good epic actually damage dealer aoe damage dealer very very good i actually have two dithys built two level 60s very strong for centranos and obviously very good for the Sylvan Watchers since they lack damage dealer. So there we go. Gold right off the bat. And it's going to be Rich Off the Bold. Rich Off actually can solo Dragon. I know that's not a big thing nowadays, but he can do it. Um, otherwise, I don't think he has too much use uh, in terms of what I've seen him in. He's a Poisoner. Maybe he's going to be decent for a Clan Boss. But you level 75. I expect you to be maybe a little bit beyond Rich Off's uh, abilities. But he is a solo option for Dragon. Uh, let's see here. Oh, good. Nice. First 20, first 20 uh, shards. We got 2,000 points already. So really, really high uh, point average here. For uh, Lumpy. Keep going here. Another epic. Looking good. In terms of overall points, looking pretty decent. 2,500 already for 30 shards. Keep in mind, guys, each Ancient is worth roughly about 50 points. So, obviously, plan your uh, pulls accordingly. Or plan your expectations accordingly. Jorag. Jorag is going to be good in a lot of areas. Eternal Dragon. Uh, Clan Boss. Slowing down a little bit here for Lumpy. Can't run hot forever, of course, but keep it going here. Oh, another gold. Very nice. Oh my god. Wallmaster. Okay, Wallmaster. There we go. Finally, some quality. Incredibly good champion. Very good for Hydra. It brings the AoE block buffs, decrease attack, and the big max HP slam. His multipliers are not incredibly good, um, so gearing him out will be difficult because you'll need accuracy for the decrease attack block buffs. And he'll need some really good damage gear for you to uh, get a lot of damage out of him. But for the late game, he's very good once you get to that gearing point. But in the beginning, he's going to be a little bit harder to use. But great champion overall. Definitely somebody that I would be interested in pulling as well. So congratulations. Two gold already. Alicia again, very solid epic champion. And great points so far. Great points so far. So Lumpy's definitely, definitely uh, benefiting here from this 2x boosted event. Let's go. And we're going to get taxed here a little bit. Taragi, very good if you don't have him. Very solid champion. Can I believe solo Scarab King with the right gear? He can kind of do it. Yes, he can. Actually, he can. A Tatsu, good for Clan Boss. Regard Sergeant, good for Clan Boss. Just good points here as well. Yeah, definitely a good possession here for Lumpy. See what else we got here. Tanix actually was very MVP for Faction Wars, bringing the decreased speed against the boss. That's going to be it for Lumpy here. Two Legos from 74 shards. Very, very good showing here. So congratulations on all that. We'll be back on our next account, guys. All right, guys, on to our next account here. We got level 89, Kenshi, 40 ancient shards. Let's pop it for him. Best of luck to you, man. Let's get it. What can we do for your account today? Epic, epic. Let's go. Gory. Hyped up for Hard Fire Knight, never lived up to it. Four epics right away. 1,000 points looking good right away. Let's see what else we got going on here for Kenshi. Another epic, Cornelia. Got the sleep for the Sand Devil if needed. Nothing there other than that. Keep going. Let's see if we can pull gold. I mean, we only got 40 shards. I can get lucky here. 1% chance at the gold. Geomancer, boom. That is impact right there, guy. If you don't have Geomancer, congratulations. Took me three years to get him. 
<laughs> Probably the best epic in the game, right? Very generalist. Generally the best epic in the game. Um, let's see what else we got here going on. I think this is going to be the last temple. Hey, we got Geomancer. That's always a good day. So congratulations on that. We'll be back on the next account, guy. Thanks for letting me pull in your account. All right, we're back. We got a level 70 here. We got Ethan ready to go. Let's see what he's got. He's what? How many are we pulling here today? He's got a bunch, but we're not going to pull them all. He's got... He says pull 50. So we're going to do 50 here. So best of luck to you, Ethan. Let's see what we can do for 50. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Level 70. Okay. Hey, Creelden, very, very good champion, actually. Very good champion. He's um, very good for Fire Knight Harp. He's actually just a good champion overall. I use him. I have two copies of 260s of him built for Centranos. Very good champion, actually. So definitely a good build, especially if, even if you have multiple, it's going to be very good, too. Uh, Hoskrul. Hoskrul is going to be uh, pretty important in one of those, uh, the new event dungeon with Odin. He has the immunity to... Uh, Immune to stuns. So very, very decent. Skull Crusher, of course, very good for a clan boss. Level 70, maybe it helps. Maybe it helps. And I guess Skull Crusher was pretty good in like uh, Centranos versus the Fire Knight as well. If you have to make teams together. Vras, very good for Bommel. Uh, very good for like Eternal Dragon and stuff like that too. Uh, good A1, right? Claude Beast Feeder was actually pretty good as well. Brings team buffs. All right, one more 10 pop for here for Ethan. We'll let him take over afterwards. Thanks for letting me pull in your account, man. Hopefully we get something. Oh, we pick up a gold along the way, and we got Helicath. Super, super nice. I mean, if you don't have Helicath, he's a he's a game changer, right? If you don't have Helicath, he's a game changer. He brings the block damage, of course, and then he brings the big shield relative to his defense. He actually hits decently hard. I mean, his A1 has a weaken, and then he can bypass other people's block damage. Um, but yeah, and when your team gets hit, he counterattacks. So, you know, a common strategy is like to build him with high damage and then, you know, put him, use him in arena and all that stuff. And he's a bit of a menace, um, but yeah, I, you might have him. He was an old fusion, but he's very, very good. It's obviously good for Iron Twins and all that stuff too. Clan boss. But yeah, congratulations. We did get a legendary here for Ethan, Ethan in uh, 50 pulls. So congrats. Uh, we'll be back on our next account for some more pulls, guys. All right, back on our next account here, level 88. We got Ibra. He's pulling for the last uh, milestone, so 5,500 points. He does have the shards for it, but it's going to cost him, on average, about 100. So let's see if we can uh, get there for cheaper. So best of luck, Ibra. Let's go. Let's go. See if we can get there for cheaper than 100. It'll be a happy day. Starting off with a 10 tax here, so it feels bad. Let's get that out of our memory right away. <laughs> uh, let's go. Let's go. Mausoleum Mage. We He's level 88, so he's going to be beyond some of these epics. Lysia, again, very solid. Looking about 1,000 points so far for 20 pulls. This is our 30th pull, or 30 shard pull. Big epics here. Really, really nice. Uh, in terms of points, in terms of quality, not the best. This is our 40 pull. Just under 2k points here, looking for 5,500 points. It is a hefty total, guys. Hefty total. Not too exciting there. Romero. This is 50 shards. Just over 2k points. 2.1k points so far. Bane. Good single target damage. 2.5k over 50. This is our 60th pull. So 2.5k so far. Still 3k left. We did pick up a gold here. And it's going to be a bass. Okay, a bass. I mean, she still slams. That's 1,000 points. Pretty good pull here. She still slams. But yeah, cooldowns here really, really high. She does need books to slam. AoE decreased defense uh, needs the books as well. So probably not somebody you want to invest too much in unless you're like super late, late, late game and you want to optimize your Faction Wars team or something. I don't know, but definitely not uh, too impressive. Uh, but 1,000 points here is impressive. We're at about 3,500 points. We're getting there. We're getting there. We need 5,500 points. I think we're about 70 or 80 shards in. We get taxed here again. Feels pretty bad. Let's double check the chase points for Ibra after this pull. I think we're pretty close. We're getting there. Maybe we can get there in 10 more. Let's have a quick look. All right. 2,000 points away. So we're not that close at all, but let's get back to it. 80 shards in so far. 2,000 points away. 
Let's go. Let's see what we can get in here. Come on. Don't make him pull it all. So 4,000. So 15, roughly about 1,500 points. We could get in 10. There we go. Another gold. Nice. Okay. More two. Okay. More two. Not too bad. Can be still decent. Still trouble for a lot of players early on. 1,000 points here. I think we're going to call it here and let him finish it off. But more two. Not too bad here. I do have, I think, three more twos on my other account. Or four more twos. I still use them. Of course, his peril is going to be the big thing. Um, but yeah, with Harima, um, you know, in the meta and all that stuff, he's going to be really, really hard. That's pretty much who I use against more twos. If I see them, him in like arena teams, I just bring my Harima and then he's just basically like nullified. But still a good champion, has a big speed aura as well. Definitely build him out there. Took 100 shards and I think we just about hit 5.5k here for Ibra. So anyways... Hopefully you enjoyed those polls. Best of luck. We'll be back on our next account for some more polls, guys. Don't go anywhere. There's still so much more to go. So be right back. All right, guys. Our next account here, level 50. Franco pulling his life savings here. 40 ancient shards. Hopefully we get something huge for this new account. Let's go. Something massive from 40 shards. Looking for epics probably, but obviously a Lego would be very, very exciting. And we get taxed right away. We got 30 more to go. We don't want to see that as a newer account. Let's see what we can get. Falcon Heart can be useful. Uh, let's see. Sanguina. Okay. Hermits can be good for Faction Wars. All three of these can be useful. So not too bad. There's some options for you. For Faction Wars at least. Let's go. Vrask. Very decent. Deathless. Not so much. See what else we get. Another epic here. Pan the Bowhorn. Is this guy going to be useful here? A1 freeze. Increase attack. Increase speed on this champion. Triple hit with fear. Probably not going to be too useful to you. Last 10 pop. Come on. Let's get him something here. For a newer account, you'll really need to see something that you can build and carry you out a little bit here. Oh my god. So painful. Hopefully the batch of epics was good enough to get your account going there. Thanks for letting me pull in your account, guy. We'll be back on our next account. All right, guys, next account here, we got Roller Girl, level 72. We got 66 Ancients. Let's pull them all. Best of luck. Hopefully, we can get something nice for you, level 72. Hey, right, let's go. Come on. He's going for the Titan points. Unfortunately, it's not going to be done with 60, uh, 66 shards, unfortunately. Vildrax, one of the first AoE Hex champions um kind of hyped was kind of hyped up for that but he never actually was anything too impressive um let's see what else we can get here 66 ancient shards maybe you'll get to like 3000 points 3000 points hopefully but at this point we're probably just looking for a good pulls here as opposed as opposed to just getting points especially for a mid game progression account Let's go. Six pulls here. Let's get it. Come on. What do we got here? We got gold here for Roller Girl. It's going to be Crypt King Grawl. Nice points here. 1,500 might be the highest that we got all session. 1,500 points. Does bring the HP burn here on a three-turn cooldown. Going to be uh, useful for a lot of places. Ice Golem, Spider, especially early on. So good pull there. Good legendary. He is capable of soloing some higher um, dungeons, but obviously some good gear needed. Nice, nice points so far. Nice points so far. Yeah, 800. First, we start off with 1,500 and then 800. Very, very nice points. 2,500 already after 26 pulls or so. Very good here for Roller Girl. And Senya, piece for Makage as well. Wow, wow. <laughs> Another 1,500 point hit for Roller Girl. Massive. Sigmund actually is pretty solid. He's, you know, he was the fusion where you needed four Demithas, I think. And I chose to keep Demitha instead of using Sigmund. Of course, it was a good decision for me at that time because, you know, my clan boss team still needed help. But Sigmund's actually a very decent champion, right? He does a three-turn AoE Provoke. He has a, a three-turn Shield and Strengthen here. Uh, just a solid champion. Nothing's overly, you know, exciting or anything. Just a solid champion. But massive amount of points here as well. 1,500 points here for Roller Girl. Very, very good pull session here so far. Seeker as well. Huge epic. That is huge. Oh my god, another epic. Three epics here. Huge. Massive pull. Is this possible? 60 shards to hit 5,500? I mean, so far just nailing it. And then 
We get nailed with the tax at the end. Try player. I'm trying to even out the averages with the with the ten tax there. All right. Oh, Venomage, another massive epic. Congratulations. Holy cow! We got two Legos. A ton of points here for Roller Girl. So congratulations, massive pull here. Hopefully that was account changing. We'll be back on our next account, guys, for some more pulls. All right, guys. Next account here, we got level seventy six. Bam. We're going to be pulling 60 engine charts for him. So best of luck to you, Bam. Let's go. Let's get you something nice. And game freezing. Game's freezing. Let's go. I don't know. I think they have a little bit of maintenance issues this morning. So you never know what's going to happen with these, uh, these sharp holes. But uh, it looks, it seems to me like the rates are boosted right now. So they turned to switch on, luckily. Let's go. Let's get him something nice here. Oh, first 20 pull is not good. You don't want to see those for your first 20 pulls. Let's see if the back 40 is going to be good. Wow, we did pick up a gold here. And it's Bersolf again showing up. We did talk about Bersolf. Uh, he has a decent kit, but he's just not a very sexy legendary, of course. Maybe he can help you progress, right? But probably not. Probably not. Decent champion overall, though. Let's go. We got 30 more pulls here. Uh, Lego, I mean... Can't really complain too much. Still Lego. Good for the good faction to get it in. And we need space. So feels bad. All right. 20 more here. Let's finish it up for BAM. Let's go. Not the best points for average, but we did get a Lego here. So two epics, three epics. Here we go. Good pull. Good 10 pull here. Bane's solid. Rask can be useful as well. A1 team heal. This is our last 10 pull here for BAM. Two epics. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. Thanks for letting me pull in your account, man. We'll be back on our next account. All right, guys, our next account here. We got level 95. We got on Paul's account here. We're doing 90 ancient shards for him. Best of luck, bud. Hopefully, we get you something real nice. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see what we can get here for 90 shards. 5,500 points. That sounds good. If we can hit it. Not with that type of pull let's go let's forget about that first 10 pull and start again <laughs> we got one epic there not the best and we're oh the first 20 oh first 20 looking grim looking grim guys but that's plurium taxing us hard until the eventual gold strikes oh my god the first 30 have been one epic per 10 not the best blood flock here decent epic buff extensions come on give him some points here don't let him go don't let him go home with no points three epics four epics there we go got something here Ulfrig, peace for the makagi fusion if needed at least it's something four epics not too bad makes up a bit of the points and the game's gonna crash is the game gonna crash come on come on about halfway through the shards already Rask again showing up. Looking for gold here. Come on. Nope. Nothing too, nothing too exciting here. Come on. Let's go. Let's get Paul something here. Gorlos. There's gold. Boom. Another gold. Nice. Holy cow. Okay. So we got Roxam and Jintaro. Um, Jintaro is going to be one of the best damage dealers for Clan Boss. Not sure if you're going to really, you know, need him. But if you're still working on Clan Boss, he brings quite a bit. Decreased defense and weaken. He brings multi-attack, extra turn multi-attacks. Um, it's a very, yeah, very powerful clan boss damage dealer. And then Roxam used to be, I think he was a guarantee at some point, or he was part of a hero's path, but it's a super expensive one. He benefits off Veil, and he does some stuff, decreased defense and weekend, does a little bit of damage as well, some CC. Does a little bit of everything, but not the best at anything. Uh, I do use him for faction wars, but that's about it. Uh, Gorlos, AoE decreased defense for Demon Spawn. Speed up your Faction Wars, I guess. Uh, but yeah, pretty good 10 pull. I mean, that's going to be the most, uh, probably one of the best 10 pulls all session so far. Daiti, very, very good. Like I said, damage dealer for Sylvan Watchers, AoE decreased defense. I got two built myself for Centranos. And I guess Faction Wars, of course. Come on, let's see what else we can get. Spider, very good for the event dungeon, actually. Uh, if you don't have Liby Lydia, for example. Skull Crusher, good for a clan boss. One of the few counterattack champions. Also good for Fire Knight Hard or 
Zentranos, Fire Knight, if you need him. But we did pick up two Legendary from Nine Shards, so not too bad. You did go home with something here. So thanks for letting me pull your account, man. We'll be back on our next account. All right, our next account here, we got level 75. We got Mad Boy. He claimed Arbiter for 650 points. He's looking for 5,500 points. So we need about 4,900 points from 86 shards. Is it possible? Yes, it's definitely possible. So let's try to get it for him. 4,900 points for Mad Boy. Let's go. Also still progressing through the game. So big pulls here. If we can pull some good epics and some good Legos, of course, or even average Legos. 4,900 points needed. 4,400 points left. Let's go. Or 4,300 points roughly. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So down to about 3,800 points. So far, nothing too exciting here for Mad Boy. 3,800 points to go. Let's go. A Tatsu. Okay. Not bad for Clan Boss. Early Clan Boss. But probably not going to help Mad Boy here. About 3,400 points left to go. Magnar, very good. Epic Nuker, very good damage. And we pick up a gold here, and it's going to be Blood Gorge. All right, Blood Gorge here coming in. Uh, he brings the block. Where is he? He brings block. Uh, okay, yeah, block revive here. Yeah, he does bring a block revive. He was kind of used a little bit in uh, Live Arena when Live Arena first started. Obviously, block revive is kind of cool. Uh, but I think he's more of a niche damage dealer at this point. He doesn't hit particularly hard, but the block revive is interesting. But something for your stash for a little bit. Uh, that was 800 points, so we're down to about 2,600 points needed. 2,500 points or so. Let's see if we can get there. At 80, 80 or so ancient shards. I think it's going to be pretty close. I would say about 22, 2,300 points to go. Maybe 30 shards to get there, hopefully. Epics are helpful. Come on. You don't want to come up short and then need to pull other shards. That's for sure. Let's go. No. Oh, tax at the wrong time. Really killer. Is that it? We got a little bit more here. Got 10 pot. Let's make some space. Sitting at 4,000 points. So he's 1,500 points away. Pretty low on shards already. 1,500 points. I don't know. It's a tall task, but it was done already on this video. Oh, we got another gold. There we go. Longbeard, one of the better ally attack champions. Nice. 10 popular, 1,300 points. He's just... Wow. <laughs> he actually did it. Pretty crazy. 1,360 points. Longbeard, one of the better ally attack champions here. Um, actually, I think some even like super endgame players prefer him because he does bring the uh, increased damage buff as opposed to like crit damage and uh, crit rate, for example. So he actually could be more powerful than... In, uh, than those champions with crit damage um, but good champion overall he also brings the full team as opposed to um uh, you know minus himself or whatever so he attacks him he attacks one with four allies so unless your team is like hydra then you're going to attack with your full team so good pull there lucky to hit the 5500 uh right at the end here so congratulations on all that man we'll be right back on our next account all right guys got my climate here dream level 100 Going to be pulling his 40 Ancient Shards here and then two Remnant Summons. Let's start with the Remnant Summons first. Maybe we'll get a, maybe we'll get a Mythical. Let's see. <laughs> that would be pretty insane. Peace for Makage. Not too bad, I guess. I think he has Makage. Another piece, another Epic here. Starting off with 500 points from the Remnants. Let's pull the 40 Ancients here for Dream. Best of luck, bud. Let's get it. Dream... Pulled a lot of sh has been, you know, has had a lot of shards pulled on this account uh, or on this channel. So definitely got him some some good some good pulls. But let's see if we can do it here with only 40 ancient shards. Starting off with a 10 pull tax feels pretty bad. Two epics here, not gonna be too useful. I think he's going for the hammer points as well, so he's gonna need to up the point total here. Asenya again for Makage. Going into the final 10 pull here for Dream. Can we do it? Is there magic? Magic tonight? Come on. Mm. Mm, Sandlash. Nothing. Pretty low point total as well. A little bit unfortunate. Sorry about that, bud. We'll be back on our next account for some more pulls. All right, on to our next account here. We got Sakura, level 80. He's going in for 40 Ancient Shards. So best of luck to you, Sakura. Let's go. 
get you something nice for 40 shards. Let's see here. Level 80. Still progressing through the game. So Poker Septinal. I used to poker quite a bit for my first clan boss team that was an Ultra Nightmare. Obviously, four turn increased defense and block debuffs. Very, very important. And then, of course, the A1 decreased attack as well. We do pick up gold here as well. Nice. Okay, we got Jar Rag as well. Gens and not too bad here, bringing the AoE decreased defense on a three turn cooldown here to speed up your runs for the Shadowkin. Also, very good for Fire Knight with the multi hit A1s and turn meter boosting for himself. Pretty cool. I love his attack animations. Very, very fast. Uh, great champion. Can be used in a lot of different scenarios. Like I said, AoE decreased defense can be pretty good to help you clear out some waves. Um, but he's basically used in like super high end uh, Fire Knight teams, Fire Knight hard teams. Dura, very good for Faction Wars. And again, Thylesia, one of the few uh, no books needed AoE decreased defense on a three turn cooldown. So very good champion, especially when you're progressing through the game. And I think this is going to be our last 10 pull here for uh, Sakura. So congratulations, we do pick up a legendary there. So enjoy. And thanks for letting me pull in your account. All right, guys. So after an hour of shard pulling in this video, uh, keep in mind that it's going to be way more than one hour of actually pulling shards for me because obviously, you know, cuts and edits and all that stuff. But one hour, you guys have watched it all the way to this point. The I'm going to start pulling on my accounts. Finally, I'm kind of dopamined out. Sorry about that. I'm kind of dopamined out at this point. <laughs> but my accounts I'm going to start my second account here first. I'm going for the 10,000 point uh, threshold for the champion chase for the big rock. Uh, 10,000 points here. Um, I, you know, I have no hopes and dreams of winning Odin easily for 10, 10,000 points. But these are good rewards. These are good rewards for 10,000 points. And it's a 2x ancient. So it's going to take you roughly about 200 ancient shards to get there. I have about 300. So I'm probably going to go for that. Um, also, you know, I have shards and stuff to back me up. And I pulled a little bit of uh, greens just to top me up for the training event as well. So it's actually not too bad of an event, um, you know, for for me in terms of having just uh, the resources I have and for my account. So for my second account, I'm going to go and uh, go this route and pull some ancient shards. Let's start with the remnant summons first. Maybe we'll get a mythical. Maybe unlikely, though, but it's one of our best chances and it's during a champion chase. So why not? All right. No mythical. <laughs> still no mythical maybe we'll get it next year or something um anyways let's pull some ancient shards let's see what we can do here best of luck to me my turn let's go this is my secondary account so don't really care too much about what i pull in terms of epics uh i did pull geomancer on this account after three years of fishing for him um so there's no epic that i really really care about at this point I guess for empowerment purposes, it would be nice to pull some epics. Um, but let's see where we go here. Pulling a lot of food. Luckily, there's a training event. And we can pick up some gold here. <laughs> pick up Thor. <laughs> you know, a second Thor might not be so bad. A second Thor might not be so bad for this account. I don't know. And I think this account's Faction Guardians is maxed out. So I could empower my Thor if I so choose so. He's a great damage dealer for Hydra, and for this account, I think having uh, a secondary damage option might be might be okay. So I'm not too not too sad about that. Let's keep going though. Let's go. We got two X chance here, one percent chance. Going to be pulling a lot of uh, a lot of ancient shards on my own account. So Beacon, good for empowerment, I guess. Let's see what else we can get. We pull one Lego so far. Hopefully we uh, don't stop there. You get taxed there. No thank you. No thank you. Let's see. Come on. Come on. Come on. Double tax? Come on. Double tax me for that Thor? Come on. Alright, let's make up for it here. How about five epics? One, two. Okay, two epics. And we need space. All right, back for more. It's going to be kind of tough. My stash is pretty full. Luckily, there is a training event, so I'm training at the same time. But let's see what else we can get We here. We're going to do 40, and then we're going to have to make some more space, unfortunately. 
capped capped on uh, stash space. Didn't we just pull this girl? Jesus. All right, at least we're getting some epics here. Let's go. Ten thousand points. Hoping to spend only two hundred ancients. Hopefully, getting there for less. Come on. Not not the craziest point totals for myself so far. Maybe get some gold along the way. Got duped Thor. Alright, gotta make more space. Alright, let's keep going. Yeah, I guess gotta make space along the way. Thank goodness for that training event, actually. That's good. Uh, and I didn't put much points into it, so... Using brews to level up the food, and then obviously leveling up with the uh, food. Making a lot of 4 stars, so... Feels okay. Not wasteful. Double dipping there, so pretty good. Wow, lots of points here. Four epics. Love to see it. I think we're about... We started with about 290 Ancient Shards. Let's see where we're at after this. And then we'll have to make some more space again. Uh, okay. Only one Lego so far. It's going to be a dupe Thor. Hopefully, hopefully we get something else. Come on. Nothing. Alright, let's check our points. Hey, actually pretty close. We're at 8,500. Uh, we're leading the bracket, but the event just started. So, uh, 8,500. Uh, how many shards did we pull so far? We pulled 150. Not bad. 150. Not bad. Let's make some space and get that last 1,500. All right. 1,500 points to hit. Let's see if we can get there. Let's see if we can pull another legendary. 150 shards for just Thor doesn't feel that good, to be honest. Let's get it. Come on, 1500 points. What do we got here? So, 1000 points short. 1000 points short. Can we get it here in this last 10 pop? We need two epics at the end. Mm, oh, just short a little bit. Gonna commit one more 10 pop here. We should get enough with this last 10 pop. I'm hoping for a Lego. Come on. It's a lot of shards for only a dupe Thor. Uh okay, well, I mean, we overshot the 10k. Uh, we spent a total of 180 shards on this account. We pulled Thor pretty early, so our mercy is pretty built up. But overall, pretty unlucky for this account in terms of pulls. Yeah, we overshot by a little bit, but that's okay. That's no big deal. Uh, I, yeah, I mean, I have no uh, delusions of picking up Thor here. I think a lot of people are going to go crazy for this event. Um, but... You know, it is what it is. You know, set the bar for everybody. Let's see if I get a, a cheap bracket here. Is it 200 people? Is it 200 people? Let's see. Is it 200 people or 100 people? Oh, it's only 50 people. Oh my goodness. It's only 50 people. I didn't know that. That actually makes it so that people actually have a chance to win this for not too expensive. Uh, but anyways, that's going to be this secondary account. I'm going to hop on my main account and we are going to smash that CC luck there. So let's get into it all right guys finally on my main account here obviously i'm most excited to pull on this account i'm going to save the horse for cbc so i did pick up marius the gallant um he's ready to go but i'm not going to pull him for this uh champion chase i'm going to save him for cbc book him out and all that stuff um yeah it's going to be exciting i'm going for 10k um you know 10k my champion chase Obviously, no delusions of trying to win this, of course. Um, but I just found out it's only 50 people. So you never know. Maybe you have a chance, right? Only 50 people. Never know. You could have a chance. I do have resources, you know, to dump. And maybe it's worth it. Maybe. Maybe I'll get gripped. Gripped by FOMO. And then uh, I'll do something crazy. But anyways, I made some space. I'm going to start with the remnants here. Maybe I'll pull a mythical. Maybe I'll pull a mythical. All right. Let's do this, guys. Let's do this. Super excited. Maybe we'll pull a mythical. 2.5% chance? No. Hello, oh, Geomancer. Hey. Hello. Empowerment. Welcome. All right, let's do some shards here. I got 230. I'm going to go for 10k. Uh, obviously, I got gems to top up if I want more. I think uh, just double checking my mercy here. 10. So fresh mercy. So anything can happen. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's get some points. Actually, I'll be happy to get points, actually. I, I don't mind getting just points. 
But obviously, like with non-void Legos, there's not too many that I would really, really want, want I think, on this account. Furo would be one. Um, yeah, Furo would be a good one. Ethereum would be a good one too, just so it's something to play with. Um, something new to play with. Um, I think that's about it that I can think of off the top of my head. I just picked up my third nut. That was pretty... I mean, that's going to be something that can change up my, my teams a little bit. Um, but in terms of this account, I don't think there's too much I'm looking for. Any gold's good. Fill up my Faction Guardians. Banner Lords would be welcome, I think. In terms of any, everything else, it's just for empowering epics, I guess. And obviously points for the champion chase would be would be nice. Wow, this is a nice one. Wow, five epics? Six epics? Let's go! Let's go, guys. Six epics. Let's go. 1500 points there let's go what else we got here what else we got here more epics i mean no gold yet let's go guys let's go i'll take these epics i'll take them good points 250 points each for a ancient shard let's go guys i got makage already so i don't need any uh, makage epics or anything like that so let's go and good rewards for the champion chase. So I can't really complain. I have resources to spend. I don't mind pulling some shards uh, just to try to progress my account. My kind of philosophy around shards is that they lose value every day. Um, because every day, you know, people are getting stronger, pulling str pulling more, getting stronger. So if I don't pull, my account just kind of decays slowly. And obviously with the uh, hard creep in the game, every day that passes, your account gets it decays slowly, right? That's kind of like my thought overall in this game. It's it's an impossible goalpost. Sorry, the goalposts always move on you. It's an impossible game to uh, complete, I guess, if you really want to progress in PvP. There's always, you know, the next next goal, right? Come on, let's get some gold here. That's the first goal for this account. Let's get some gold. Fresh Mercy or not. 2x. Should have a little bit better luck than this. So far, nothing. So far, nothing is actually kind of kind of sad. Actually, for two X, kind of sad. Come on, let's light them up. Make it worth my while. Still nothing. Oh my goodness, we're one hundred fifty deep, and we did not pull a legendary. Holy cow! We saved all the luck is gone. We used up all the luck. All right, looks like we're short about 1,500 points here. Almost to the 10K mark. Let's get it. Finish it up here. I think I'm 150 Ancients deep. No Lego. Feels kind of bad. Hopefully we can get here. I can't believe we would go to Mercy during a 2X. Did they turn it on for me? Did they turn it on for me? You guys say I have, you know, insane luck. I don't know. This doesn't feel insane. <laughs> It doesn't feel very good at all. Having the 2x. There we go. We finally get it. And it's a Smash Lord. So you definitely feel kind of bad about that. Um, yeah. I mean, that's going to be it for that. How many shards did we pull? We pulled... We started with 230. So we pulled 160-ish. 160, 170. We still didn't get it. I think we're pretty close. 800... Yeah, we're pretty close. I think I'm going to leave it. Let's do one more 10 pop for the cameras here. Man, Longbeard after 170 Ancients. Yeah, that kind of hurts, to be honest. Let's see what else we can get. Two epics here. All right. I think that should be enough to get the 10k. Oh, it's kind of painful, guys. There we go. We got the 10k here. All right. Well, not the best luck for me personally. Um... Uh, I think, yeah, 180 shards. I think I pulled 180 shards for a long beard. My mercy is basically reset to zero. So feels kind of bad. Sometimes you come out ahead, sometimes you don't. So it's all good. Got a ton of food to work through. Thank goodness for the training event, of course. Uh, anyways, guys, I've been pulling shards for about two hours here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys made it to the end, thank you guys so much for your time. And thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys have a great Friday. Have a great weekend. Hit that like and subscribe button if you guys like this video, of course. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.